First at four, court records reveal new details on the horrific injuries a Honolulu teacher suffered after being doused with a chemical liquid. Hawaii News Now reviewed those documents after the suspect, Sebastian McQuan, faced a judge today in the case. He's charged with attempted murder and assault. Stephanie Lum has our update. The state would ask to file the JDPC in court and to confirm bail at $2 million aggregate. 29-year-old Sebastian McQuan's court appearance was brief, with the judge confirming bail at $2 million. But documents released after his appearance describe in detail the extensive injuries his alleged victim, Don Ying Zhang, suffered in last Tuesday's attack. It says, per emergency room doctors, Zhang suffered severe burns to a large portion of her body, and at the time she was intubated, the liquid substance had gotten into and burned Zhang's mouth and throat, and her lungs were collapsing. Her doctor told police that Zhang had oral injuries that compromised her airway. Large areas of her face, body, legs and feet were severely burned and will have permanent disfigurement. There's a special place in hell for someone like that. Special place in hell. Stephen Keo, the vice president of police union Shopo, told KHVH's Rick Hamada that he spoke with the supervisor who was in charge of the crime scene. What he shared with me was absolutely horrific, okay? And I think the community needs to understand that this 25-year-old girl, her life is never going to be the same. She had a chemical put on her, okay? that ate through her in a way that I don't think human eyes have seen before. Police found surveillance video that captured the incident and the suspect. Two officers looked at it and both said they recognized McQuan from previous face-to-face -face encounters. On Thursday night, officers checked the Evile area homeless camp where he was known to reside and arrested him for attempted murder. He's scheduled to be back in court on Wednesday. Zhang remains hospitalized, and we're told efforts are underway to reach her family in rural China. Stephanie Lum, Hawaii News Now.